What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be a pretty interesting video and you know it's going to be interesting because I actually broke out a tripod for once. You know, you guys hardly ever see tripods on my channel even though I have them just about everywhere. But it's a special occasion so I figured, you know what, let's get out one of the tripods and see if it can help us out. So this is going to be really cool because thanks to my friends over at Celaton Scales who provided me this really, really cool four pad weighing system. Very, very cool. This is a type of system that a law enforcement officer may keep in their vehicle to weigh a truck on the side of the road or at a truck stop. So very, very cool stuff. This is a 100,000 pound rated system and it is accurate to 20 pounds. So it's, uh, it's pretty dang accurate, especially for something as large as a pickup truck. And again, this goes up to 100,000 pounds. So just about any size truck, you could really check the weight. And you may have to move some things around a little bit because this system isn't lightweight, right? Each one of these pads weighs about 55 pounds. So just combining all four pads, you have over 200 pounds worth of weight that you have to lug around. So if you're gonna use this system in an environment, you know, in a mobile environment, then you're probably gonna have to just do a little bit of math to figure out, you know, if you have tandem axles in the back and you're gonna be weighing those, plus you're gonna weigh your steer axle up front, you're gonna have to add the, the weights together. And then of course you can figure other weights in to the equation such as, you know, pin weight, hitch weight, things like that. Um, all that said, this specific system came with this really cool monitor display here, which actually has an integrated printer. So I have the ability to actually print a weigh scale ticket so I know specifically how much all this weighs. And this is all certified. So this entire setup here is designed to be certified and to be able to give you the weight that you would need if you are gonna be you know, weighing pretty much anything heavy, any truck, any type of, uh, you know, just about anything. I mean, I, shoot, I could even weigh the tractor over there. So this is really, really uh, amazing stuff. And today what I wanna do is just show you some weights um, in respect to my truck. I'm gonna pull my truck on top of these scales. I have everything connected with all the included cables. Everything's feeding to this box. And we're gonna see how much my truck weighs. And then we'll take some individual readings to show you specifically how the display can give you readings scale by scale and not just the sum of all the scales. So this is gonna be cool. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is show you what's going on here. And there's a challenge that I may have that I'm figuring out how I'm gonna overcome when it comes to like weighing the fifth wheel and things like that, because these aren't designed to be on soft soil, like sand. Um, basically, it needs to be on something that's stabilized, something that can disperse the weight evenly. So the six load sensors that are on each one of these platforms gives you an accurate reading. So when I contacted the manufacturer, I told them I have a fifth wheel way back there and it's on sand. They said, you know what, you really should either put them on planks, put them on some type of a steel base, something to prevent them from sinking in so you get the proper weight. But what's really cool about these is that this is kind of a mix of construction. You have steel along with aluminum that make these and they again are very very heavy but if you're going to lift upwards of 25,000 pounds per pad they need to be pretty dang heavy. They have a little bubble scale in the corner so you know if it's level and uh, they have a little plug right here which goes to these shielded cables to uh, feed back to the control, which is right here, or at least the display box. So that's the setup. Um, they have handles kind of integrated in, and you can see what this display is sitting on is one of the carrying carts that you actually put two of these in. So this entire setup came with two of these carts that had two of the scales inside of each one. So four scales total. And then of course you get this really cool ruggedized box up here to protect and house the display everything here as well as your printer which is right here so again you can print everything off everything's very nicely labeled for like your left front wheel right front wheel left rear right rear wheel your power to be able to charge this up because it does have an internal battery and uh you just turn it on from right here let me hold that down all right once it's on it's going to go through a little test and everything should read out zero all right and it is set for pounds and then using this button right here, I can actually switch through each one of the scales individually so I can give you a reading on each individual scale, which is really nice. Now, I could get readings from just one scale if that's what you want, but because this system is calibrated to all four scales being together, they all have to be plugged in. Otherwise, I would have to calibrate it specifically for just one scale, and that's just not convenient. So, uh, yeah, if I want to just get a reading from one scale, I just have to plug them all in 
and then get the reading from that one scale. Don't try to weigh everything else. But the cool thing about this is, is I can toggle through each one of the scales. But yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull the truck on top of these scales that I've positioned about 18 inches in front of each tire. And we're gonna see what the overall weight of the truck is. And then we'll go through each individual scale using this switch feature so we can get a better idea of how much weight each specific tire has resting on the scale. Isn't this cool stuff? And then based off of that, think about all the other information I can gather. I could put a trailer on the back and I can load the trailer up and see specifically how much weight is impacting each drive tire. That's pretty cool. As well as the front, how much weight is actually coming off the front when we add weight to the back. And I have the tractor, my bad boy, pulled up out here and I'm thinking of doing something a little creative so I can kind of dictate how weight affects the truck. And I think some of you may have an idea of what I could do to do that. So this is gonna be fun. First of all, I need to pull the truck on the scale so we can go ahead and see what the curb weight of my truck is. And the curb weight, well, let me take that back. This is not going to be the curb weight. The curb weight would be the truck from the factory shipped to a dealership with nothing added to it. But you all know I have a lot of weight in my truck. I have bumpers. I have a winch. I have a toolbox with stuff. I have stuff under the seat. I have a lot of stuff in this truck that's going to add incremental weight to the curb weight of this vehicle. So it's going to be interesting to see how my truck sits right now from a non-towing perspective without any type of a fifth wheel hitch or bumper pull on the back of it. So first things first, let's get the truck on the scale. Okay, so as you can see, we have the truck on the scales and they are all Pretty much right in the center of each scale. So you go this way. You can see that everything is pretty much centered on the scales. Slightly off center of this one, but that really doesn't matter according to them with the six load sensors. This one's right in the middle. All right, so what do you all think my truck weighs right now? With just the weight of the truck, no trailer, not me sitting inside of it. What do you guys think my truck weighs? Round it to the nearest hundred. Let's look at the scale. 10,200 pounds. So my truck, as configured, the way it's sitting right here with all my accessories, everything on it, weighs 10,200 pounds. So let's do the math. What does that leave me with in terms of payload capacity? leaves me with 3,800 pounds. So my truck has a 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And because my truck right now as it sits is 10,200 pounds, I have 3,800 pounds worth of cargo capacity between where it's at now and the 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And that's the number that's really important to understand. So what does that mean at the end of the day? It means that, you know, my fifth wheel, which has a 3,482 pound pin weight, you add it to that, I still have roughly 320 pounds ish of remaining payload capacity for the people inside of the truck. Part of the reason why is because we have the Reese goose box because we don't have to put a big heavy hitch in the back of the truck and it saves weight. We basically remove the 75 to 80 pound, you know, factory pin box from the fifth wheel. And then we throw you know, a pin box that weighs about 180 to 200 pounds on the back. And we don't have to put a 250 pound hitch in the bed of the truck. We just have maybe a 10 pound ball, which is actually in the back of the truck right now. So um, other things to keep in mind with this is whenever you have your cargo capacity remaining, you know, after you've kind of loaded everything up, you do have to account for people. You have to account for whatever's going to be inside of the truck. So that's a big part of it. And then finally, Again, big disclaimer about F450s, and this is probably widely known from people who have followed the Ford F450. The only reason this truck has a 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, similar to a Ram 3500 or a Chevy 3500 HD dually, is because they derated the truck to keep it a 14,000 pound and below rated truck. That's the only reason. If you actually look at the components that make up an F450, really it should be able to probably carry about 2,000 pounds more in terms of payload capacity than a 350 dually. 
Why is that? The heavier duty commercial grade wheels and tires, the much larger brakes, the larger half shafts for the axle, the larger differential. This truck is actually designed as a kind of a cross between an F350 dually and an F450 chassis cab truck. The front frame section is also a carrier from the chassis cab truck. So again, if you really look at what this truck is designed to carry, it's actually designed to probably carry closer to about 5,500 pounds, maybe close to 6,000 pounds worth of cargo versus an F350 because of all the different changes they've made. But the thing that hurts the F450, not only you know in terms of the rating that it was given to keep it derated, to keep it in a class three vehicle category, but the other part that kind of hurts it is the fact that whenever they added all the beefier components to this truck from the chassis cab, it actually added to the curb weight of the vehicle. What does that mean? It means, let's say an F350 dually would typically weigh 9,000 pounds. Well, this truck might weigh 10,000 pounds because of the heavier components. And because of that, it actually takes away from a rating perspective from that 14,000 pound rating that you would typically see on class three vehicles. So again, 10,200 pounds is how much my truck weighs. Um, what I'm gonna do is something kind of interesting really quickly. I'm gonna throw something kind of heavy in the back and I'm gonna see how it impacts the weight you see here just to see how accurate it is. Okay, so right here is my B&W two inch shank tow and stow hitch, three ball hitch. This thing weighs about 28 pounds because we weighed it on the other Celaton scale, the platform scale last time. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this in the bed of the truck and just see what type of impact that has on the weight. Okay, so it added 20 pounds to the scale. Now, some folks are gonna say, well, that's not very accurate. Again, remember from the beginning of this video, because this is a 100,000 pound rated system, it goes in increments of 20, which means there's a variance in there of maybe 10 pounds, e either way, of course. So. When you look at where it's at now, it added, again, roughly 20 pounds to it. The actual hitch weighs 28 pounds. That's pretty dang accurate. So we have kind of a baseline to show that the accuracy of this is correct. And if anything, we're probably off. I'm gonna say probably 20 to 40 pounds. I can't imagine by much, but 20 pounds according to them, if you wanna throw in a little bit bigger margin, you could probably say up to 40 pounds. But when you're talking about 10,000 pounds, not that big of a difference. Anyways, let's go ahead and get that stuff back out. And I want to show you some of the, uh, the interesting features that this display gives us and see how it impacts maybe what you think about weight. Now, what I want to do next is quickly just toggle through the individual pads and see how much weight is resting on each one. So I'm going to go to the switch button right here. It shows that I have 2,760 pounds or 27% resting on the front left tire of the truck. Let's see about the other tire. And I have 2,780 pounds resting on the front right tire of the truck. So 27%. So a little over half the weight of the truck is up front. And that's kind of how you want it, right? It's, it's interesting how, if you look at how this truck is balanced out, you know, it's gonna be just a shade over 50% of the truck is on the front, right? So that's pretty cool because now it gives us kind of an idea of where weight is in the truck right now. Now, what is adding to the weight of my vehicle? So I have the toolbox, I have the bumpers, I have the winch and all of that. Now the toolbox, which has quite a bit of stuff in it, can certainly weigh it down, but I would venture to say the majority of the weight back here is coming from the inside of that box, that box, and maybe the, the Vier. I have some scissor jacks underneath there. Um, this box right here is incredibly heavy because it has all my recovery gear, shackles, things like that. That box is probably a couple hundred pounds. Um, and then my toolbox probably has several hundred pounds worth of stuff inside of it. So again, you know, the numbers are really, really interesting to see where you're seeing the weight rest on the truck. And this is information you can't get from a CAT scale. There are probably ways you could figure it out, but to see specifically how much weight is on each tire is a number that again typically is not going to be available through a cat scale cat scale will give me my axle weight how much weight i have on the front axle the rear axle but it's not going to give you individual locations i'm going to switch to the left rear 
I have 2,360 pounds resting over the left rear tire. And that is 23% of the actual weight of the truck. And something that I wanna show you, which is super cool, that uh, <laughs> I just realized is when you hit the print, it's actually gonna go ahead and add up your front and rear axle weight independently, so you don't have to do the math and you don't have to try to figure it all out yourself. All right, so check that out. It breaks it all down. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. Check that out. It gives you the individual axle rating. 5,660 pounds up front, 4,640 pounds in the rear. Total weight, 10,200 pounds. Very, very cool. Okay, so now what I'm planning on doing, and some of you may have figured this out, is I've put a pallet in the bed of my truck and I have my bad boy 3026H tractor with the bucket resting on the pallet. Now, I don't wanna to go too much further in because I have my water port right here, my water tank, and uh, I really don't wanna run the risk of breaking that or damaging it. And the pallet is just to kind of distribute the weight a little bit. So what I plan on doing, and again, some of you may have figured this out, is actually pushing down on the back of the truck. Now, I used the, the actual floor jack that Celaton provided me and checked how much downward pressure I can push with this the other day. And it was right around 800, really close to 900 pounds, 850, I think. I can't remember, but it was well over 800 pounds worth of downward pressure. So you're not gonna get quite as much in this kind of angle only because of leverage and some of the, the things that might work against you, but you'll definitely get a little bit more of the front balance of the tractor pressing down on it as well. So I should be able to put a sizable amount of weight back here pressing down just to kind of see what we can expect in terms of weight distribution and how it affects the weight of the truck on the scales, both from a back axle perspective and a front axle perspective. So I'm gonna mount the camera over the scale as I press this down, and I'm not gonna put too much force on it right now, but we'll kind of incrementally work our way up and see how this impacts it. Now, this is also gonna be very different than a fifth wheel because a fifth wheel would place the weight directly over the axle. I'm actually putting the weight behind the axle. This is gonna be more in line with like a conventional travel trailer or a utility trailer that you would hook up to the rear bumper of your truck or at least the rear receiver. So we're gonna see what happens. This should actually distribute weight from the front of the truck to the back of the truck, but let's see. Okay, so that shot up a few hundred pounds. So we're now at 10,720 pounds. Let me see if I can get the glare off of it. Let's go to each individual axle and see how things have changed, or each tire. So now from the front, we have 25% resting on the front left. We have 26% resting on the front right. We have 25% resting over the rear left. And we have 25% resting over the rear right. So we've transferred you know, a not insignificant amount. And I haven't moved a ton of weight yet with the tractor, so what I'm gonna actually do is push down a little bit harder and see how it changes these numbers. Sorry about the loud bugs. Okay, so I actually have the tractor tires off the ground. So the tractor tires are off the ground. It's all rested back here on the pallet. You can see the pallet's flexing quite a bit. Let's go take a look at the scale. Okay, so now looking at the scale, this is the equivalent of, honestly, it's about 850 pounds worth of tongue weight from a trailer over the back axle. So this would be a I'm gonna probably say from a towing perspective, this is gonna be probably a 7,000 pound trailer, travel trailer loaded up. So let's switch to the front. So we're at 23% over the front left, 24% over the front right, 
27% over the rear left, 2,880 pounds, 26% over the rear right. So we have transferred quite a bit of weight. It's no longer front heavy, right? My truck no longer has the majority of the weight resting up front. It's now resting towards the rear in terms of, you know, a scale, right? We have about a little over 50% in the back versus, you know, 54% up front. And my truck being a dually, being as heavy as it is, having the F450 front frame section up here, which adds weight, it's certainly helping it. But if you have a lighter duty vehicle, you're gonna see a lot more weight shift to the back, or you might see just the weight itself become very unbalanced. And if you have more than 50% up front, you could probably see upwards of like 60% or more in the back because of the softer suspension, the greater angle than it's gonna position you at. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get the tractor turned off and get the weight off the back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so we have the tractor taken off the back of the truck. Life has returned back to normal. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be very relevant for content related to how much things add to the weight of a vehicle. So what I plan on doing is actually loading up some of my smaller trailers that I'll be able to kind of get to immediately, loading things on them, moving weight around so we can specifically see how that weight is transferred. But the purpose of this video is to kind of give you kind of a detailed overview of what we're doing, what the system is, and then giving you a baseline of what the truck weighs. So anything beyond this point, we'll be able to kind of just do simple math to let you know what it's gonna to add to the truck as we add different things to the back of the truck. And you know, the goal is that I get out to a flat area, concrete pavement, and I can actually get the fifth wheel hitched up and we can specifically see how much weight we're carrying there. But here's a big one. I can put these pads underneath the fifth wheel and I can put the platform, the 10,000 pound rated platform from Celaton in the bed of the truck and I can give you an exact weight or very close to an exact weight of what the fifth wheel actually weighs. And then we'll see some real good numbers, some really good math in terms of how much weight is being transferred to the vehicle, how much weight stays in the back, and maybe even get some uh, loaner vehicles over here, some three quarter tons and some half tons and things like that. And we can really, really start to see how weight impacts those types of trucks as well. Anyways, guys, um, big shout out to the folks over at Celaton. They've become a really cool partner of the channel in providing me some of the, this equipment, which gives me a real detailed view of what things actually weigh. It's something I've been looking for for a long time, and it's great to have a partner like Celaton uh, come on board to be able to help provide me this type of equipment. And uh, please check out the link in the description of this video if you want to see other products from Celaton. If you have a business or a need for these types of scales, please look into them because uh, really, really really great company. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.